What's up, guys? I'm BTC. I'm back with another episode of the Regrowth Mod Pack. I really want to get this area to start looking like an actual base instead of just random stuff strewn about, which is kind of... That's pretty much what it is right now. So in order to do that, I need to start designing the area. But the first thing that I always like to do is make the storage facility. I don't know why, but I just like having a really nice organized storage facility. So I'm gonna need a lot of barrels and a lot of the drawers, which is why I expanded the tree farm a little bit. So before I used to have it, so it was just like three rows of saplings, but unfortunately that actually caused a bunch of the saplings in the middle to not grow because like, let's say, let's say uh, you have some on the left that, ooh, darn it. Let's say you have some on the left that grow, okay? And then you have some on the right that grow. Well, the middle ones now can't grow because they don't have any light. So I found that if you do two space with light and then two more, you can get a lot get a lot more. Now, of course, machines and other technology kind of negates all this. But if you're trying to do like a vanilla-ish style tree farm, then this, this seems to work really, really well. Of course, chopping down the large trees is a super pain in vanilla. But, you know, I have the lumber axe, so it's not really a big deal. So I'm going to need lots and lots more in order to make all the barrels and stuff because that requires a lot of lumber. All right, now another thing I want to do is I want to get rid of some of these quests that I've been avoiding for a little while. So What the World Embraces has this one right here, What Do You Want? It also has uh, Are You Avoiding Me? So I'm going to make a void upgrade as well. Let me look here. So void and where is it uh, it's right here so it's just a piston obsidian and another piston so that's really really easy i just want to get all these quests knocked out because well that's how i found out uh, about the where is it about the the nether essence right there because what i was doing is i wasn't actually like doing all the quests and as a result there was some things that i was kind of missing so I want to kind of do that and uh, let me see here. I need one of those. I want to do that so that way, like, maybe I, I'll get the snowball through one of the, the other things. I'm, I'm pretty certain I'm going to get the snowball through the, the witchery or the, the bees. But um, uh, we'll, we'll figure that out when we get to it. All right, so I need two of these and I need a bunch of this stuff. Uh, also, some of you guys have pointed out that I'm not really doing this in any particular order. Like, I'm just kind of... Uh, I'm just kind of having fun with the mod pack, and, and that's the idea. That's what I that's what I wanted to do. All right, so we got two of those. So let's make one of these. So we got that. Very simple. I'm not even going to use it. We're just going to put it in there. All right, so I finished that. Uh, we get to void upgrade, and we get those. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to actually get anything from that. So I made some of the water tanks as well. Bah, 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 bah. So we got that, and we need to make a wooden water tank. We need to make a wooden irrigation channel and a sprinkler. Okay. By the way, someone else did mention that the wolves, the dire wolves, can spawn at any... Well, I, I guess not on any light level. I guess they can't spawn during the day. I guess they can... Sp I guess they spawn at night, regardless of light level, and on crack sand. So anywhere on cracks in. So all I have to do is replace the, the floor and I shouldn't have any issues. Right, so let me get rid of this stuff here. Um, so what do I what do I need? I need um, hold on, let me let me take that. Uh, what what did it say I need? I need um, what oh nope 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 that's that's that rap, rap. okay, so we need wooden water tank, wooden irrigation channel, and a sprinkler. Okay, so let's look at the sprinkler sprinkler um all right so bucket iron okay that's not that's not difficult so we got that i need to make an extra bucket and that's it right that should be it should be simple there we go so we'll make a sprinkler and then i need to make wooden something or other what is it wooden water tank okay that's easy enough so let's make one of these. And then the other thing was wooden irrigation channel. Okay. So let's make one of these here. 
Now, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this stuff. Uh, I, this is for agrocraft, isn't it? Yeah, like, I don't really... I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this. Like, I don't really need to do any of that. I mean, I have the water that's underneath here. I guess it's supposed to replace it, but... I don't know, the water in this mod pack is really, really, really easy to get. So it's not exactly, you know, complicated. I guess maybe if this was more like, uh, like the crash landing where the water was, you know, kind of difficult to get and stuff like that. But anyways, let's turn in these quests. So we're going to get two fluid tanks here. Bam, 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 bam. And that looks like it completed that out. So I'm actually going to slap this stuff down because I want to see what this all does. So we get a sprinkler and... Um, how many of these do we have? Okay. Oh, 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 that's not it. Uh, I need an axe. Where's my axe? Um, crud, where's my axe? Must be in my bag. I don't want to use the lumber axe, because it'll, like, tear apart half of this area. <laughs> um, alright, let's, uh, let's get rid of this. And I'm gonna drop down the sprinkler here. How do I... Does it have to go in the ground or something? Oh, wait. No. How does a... How does a... Where, where do I put this? I can't... Okay. Um... Oh. Oh, nope. That didn't do anything. It's not letting me place it down. Maybe it has to go on dirt or something? Hang on. Nope. Nope. It's not letting me... It's It's not letting me place it. Hmm. I'm not really sure how that works. Uh, do I have a bucket somewhere? I should have a bucket. There we go. Let's put some water in this thing. And is that going to start start moving it over here? Hold on. Let me go grab some more water. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Okay. Um... I'm not really quite sure how this works here. Like, I can't place it anywhere. Like, I, it doesn't let me place it anywhere on this. Huh. I'll have to look that... I'll have to look it up, because I, I don't know how this works. <laughs> it's not letting me place it anywhere. All right, figured out the sprinkler system. It's actually above the crops instead of in the ground. Normally, when I think of a sprinkler system, I think of the ground-based ones, but... Uh, this is how this mod pack does it. There is another mod that has a sprinkler that looks more like one of the the ones that you would put on your lawn or something like that. And it just like, you know, it kind of like goes back and forth and back and forth. But this is more of like a, a fire suppression kind of sprinkler from the ceiling. Anyways, let me uh, get some water here. And I'm going to put this up into there. And I believe that this one bucket right here can hold up to eight or well, this one section can hold up to eight buckets of water so we're gonna put this in here oh 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 Ooh, oh no no oh good <sighs> look at that little party over there oh that blue slime is still over there too <laughs> There's been a blue slime over in that little water area for quite a while now. He hasn't despawned. I should probably go grab him and put a name tag. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're going around. There is a weakness. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, there's, um... There's nothing really stopping them from just simply walking around the wall. Hold on. I need to take care of these guys. You know, these guys look way way more intimidating than they actually are they're not really a threat look at that get out of here what did we get a uh, bone and a leather tunic all right uh i don't need that stuff i don't need the leather tunic either we'll, we'll get rid of that and we'll get rid of that too i don't need that all right anyways i fixed all of the crops over here okay and even though that these are 10 growth crops, uh, it definitely does seem to increase the speed. I mean, maybe it was just placebo effect or something, but it definitely looks like the sprinkler increases the speed that the crops grow, which is pretty cool. 
And now, the other thing that I've noticed is it's kind of hard to see. But if you look, you can see that the because uh, the, the clouds. Let me try to get into a better position here without the clouds. Will you get out of the way, clouds? Okay, anyways, the water level is 2355 out of 8,000. So I'm going to destroy one of these. And now you can see it looked it, like it went down for a second, but then it went back up. Did it? It's, it seems to be stuck there. I don't know if it's, like, I don't know what's going on here. Like, why the water level isn't going down. It's like an infinite sprinkler. I was thinking that maybe it would get used up. Like, it only used up the water as it, you know, did something to the crops. But um, it, it seems to be stuck. Two, three, five, five. Two, three, five, five. Yeah, it doesn't seem to want to go down. I, I don't know what the deal is. It's kind of weird. Hold on. Actually, let me um, let me get up here. See how much water is in there. Is this one of those things where if you look at it, two, three, five, five, like it doesn't change until you look at it? All right, two, three, five, five. Yeah, it's not going down. I don't I don't know what the deal is. Maybe it maybe it just collects water on its own and it's collecting enough to. Uh, to keep itself stable? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know, hold on. Let, let me let me try something here. I wonder, maybe it's not... Maybe it doesn't work like once... Hold on. Let me try something. So I'm going to put that down. And then we'll put this right there. 2355. Five. I'm wondering, like, because those have already kind of grown and matured and then they've been harvested, like, if it if it changes it. Uh, dude, I could have sworn I just saw that number. I could have sworn I just saw the number change. Am I losing my mind? I don't know. It's not changing. Mm? Infinite water, apparently. All right. Well, whatever. Uh, so let me show you this over here. This is the uh, the railcraft. This is another large tank. Uh, this one actually might explain what's going on with that one. Uh, this will slowly generate water. Like, it kind of like takes water in from condensation or whatever and it very slowly uh, generates the water and then you can use a bucket and you can take the water out and put it back in and stuff like that so we can probably put like some sort of uh, pipes or something connected to this and get uh, get water from that now one of the things I noticed with a lot of mod packs two three five five I don't know man I don't I don't I don't know I don't know it's <laughs> it's just like, the first time I turned the sprinkler on, it shut off because it used up all the water. At least I thought it used up all the water. But now, like, it's, like, infinite. I don't... Okay, well, if somebody knows what's going on, please please explain it to me. I would appreciate it. Anyways, one of the things I noticed with a lot of mod packs is, like, for me, example, I, I tend to use the same mods over and over and over and over and over. Now, that's kind of... It's kind of good because it you know, make some familiarity, but on the, at the other time, uh, on the other hand, rather, um, there's, like, so many other mods that I've never used that I, I should have been playing with, so, like, for example, I think Magical Crops was in Sky Factory, but I completely ignored it, and now they're, they're pretty cool, so, and there's other stuff that, uh, I, I would have liked to have used and stuff like that, like the AgriCraft and stuff, dude, that is still, this is, like, oh, it's, like, moving the water, dude, that is definitely changing, but that is not... I, I don't know what's going on here. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. Anyways, the point of all this is I think I'm going to use stuff like the, the water tank and the sprinklers, and I'm going to throw some of this stuff in here uh, just because it's in the mod pack. You know, I don't want to end up with the same thing every single time. So I'm going to try to... Try to Spice up this mod pack just a little bit. Uh, um, spice up my base a little bit, I guess. And, and use some different stuff that I normally wouldn't use. So, like, I don't really need to put sprinklers on the crops. Because I don't need a million sugar cane. But I want to do it anyways. So, anyways. Let's go and check out uh, what, what we have for quests here. So, um, I did this one. Uh, we already got that. So, that one's completed. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Uh, the way the world works. No, we can't do that one just yet. Uh, can't do that one. Um, no, no, no. Where's the, uh, this, um, 
One of them, oh, there we go. So logistical improvements. So we got to make a stone transport pipe and a quartz transport pipe. So I'm actually going to get into some of the build crap stuff now. Uh, let's see. I need some glass. Where's the glass? So we need stone. Uh, I need some glass and I need quartz. Where did I put the quartz? I think I put the quartz over in the other chest over here. So let's let's go grab that. Uh, yep, there it is. Okay. So, is this it? Or, no, okay. No, that's not it. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to probably make the blocks. So, we'll make two blocks, like that. I bet you this will be it. I've never made the quartz. Yeah, there you go. This is the first time I've ever made the quartz. But what does it say? Uh, won't, uh, basic pipe, low drag, won't connect to cobblestone or stone. I've never made a quartz transport pipe. That's actually new to me. All right, so we're going to make a stone one here. And there we go. So it won't connect to cobblestone or basic pipe medium drag. Okay. Um, I guess that, that's how slow the items get transported in it. So uh, let's see. High drag. Yeah, there we go. So extraction pipe um, won't connect to stone. And wooden transport. Okay. All right. So let's uh, finish out the... Oh, oh, better transport. Hold on. Uh, golden transport pipe and sandstone transport pipe. Okay. So I need some sandstone. Uh, oop, 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 oop. Um, sandstone, sandstone. Well, let's, um, let's grab some sand here. And we'll turn that into some sandstone. Like that. And that should be... That should be the recipe, right? They tend to be all the same. So, uh, only connects to other pipes. Interesting. Oh, okay. So, this doesn't connect to, like, machines and stuff. So, I guess you can use this to put it next to barrels or, or machines or whatever and not have to worry about it, like, connecting into it. All right. And what was the other thing? Gold, I think, wasn't it? Um, so, one, two. Uh, is it going to just be two gold ingots or is it going to be blocks uh yeah it's just gonna be thing so speeds up items all right so what else do we got basic routing iron clay obsidian and void all right let me make all these and once again i find myself stuck because i'm missing a single vital ingredient first it was the nether essence then it was the snowballs and now it's redstone I can't make a void transport pipe until I get a single piece of redstone, and I don't have any. I can't go and mine it because the pickaxe that I have isn't good enough. So I think I need to start working on Thomcraft now because the Thomcraft ingots will allow me to make a pickaxe that can mine out all that stuff. And then from the Thomcraft stuff, I can go to Cobalt, and then from the Cobalt, I can go to the Osmium or, or whatever the heck. Like I, I, I think Osmium is technically ahead of the cobalt in this mod pack i don't know i could be wrong in either case i need to start working on thomcraft and probably throw in some witchery there too in order to make the different runes and whatever so all right anyways i did get some of the stuff well you know before i do that let me show you something here so someone pointed out how to actually get the sifter to work uh, so far it only seems to want to work with it only seems to want to work with uh what do you call it here with um uh, the dirt. It doesn't work with sand or gravel. Let me try soul sand. You know what? Let me try some mycelium too. Why not? And we'll try some red sand here. All right. So basically you just take the item and you throw it on top and it's supposed to sift it. Or you can just uh, right click and it will sift it as well. But this doesn't get sifted. So like, for example, right click and it sifts it. Or you can throw it on it and it sifts it. And then we get a bunch of the, the amp bait here. So let's try... Uh, Okay, so it doesn't want to sift mycelium. All right, so it won't sift mycelium. Uh, it doesn't sift sand either. Also, someone pointed out that the Claysiona is the thing that was actually converting it. The very, very convenient. Very little, tri little trick. Very little trick. It was, uh, the Claysiona is the thing that was actually sifting it. It looked like it was actually sifting, but it wasn't. So gravel, you can't use gravel either and soul sand you can't sift soul sand either so so far it only looks like the dirt is uh what can get sifted all right let's uh get rid of this clay here 
and I'm going to put this over here. Now, there are a couple of other ways to get redstone. You can get it from bees, or you can get it from fish. Apparently, it's a lot more comp... Like, it, it, it would take a long time in order to... Like, no matter how I do it through either bees or through the fish, it's going to take a while. So, uh, I figured I would actually just start up with it. So, I did uh, a little bit of fishing here. So, let me show you that. Uh, where is the... Is it, uh, is it this one here? No, it's not that one. Um, I think it's uh, the encoding of the world. So, I got a fishy situation. I made the, uh, the reed fishing rod, and then we caught uh, a fish here. So, it's going to give us a wooden fishing rod and a fluid tank. So, we're going to take both of those, and then we get feeding time. So, once you have yourself some live fish, you want to build a tank to keep them in. Different fish species require different sized tanks to live in. The core of any tank is the fish feeder, which deploys fish food to sustain the fish and is also the point where you can interact with the otherwise freeform tank structure. A tank is measured as the number of blocks of water surrounding the tank. When you place your fish in the tank, though, through the interference of the... They give you an error message to the tank nearby. What? The blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're going to have to figure this out later. So we got to make a fish feeder. we got to make some fish meal and some other stuff. I do have... Well, that's a bunch of bait. Uh, but we do have a bunch of fish because I, I had been uh, working on that a little bit. Um, let me see here. To display... Oh, okay. So this can actually... Oh, all right. So the, the reed fishing rod is like the low-level one. And this is a higher-level one. So we got bait worm... Wait, can this one do the bait worm? No, it can't. Ooh, let me try the bait worm. Let's see Let's see how this works here. So how, how you get these particular fishing rods to work is you have to put the bait next to next to the, to the fishing rod. And we just got a raw goldfish. All right. And it doesn't take very long either. Like, it takes, like, just a, a second or two. Like, see? There you go. So much faster than the regular vanilla fishing. Way, way faster. Oh, we just got Nemo. What's that? What was that one? Raw salmon? Minnow? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey now. Hey now. You're going to scare the fish away. You're going to scare the fish away. So what's that? Raw blue tang? Okay. What's this? And we got uh, a stingray. Okay. All right, so I've got a bunch of fish already. And what you can do is you can actually, like, breed them. And then you can uh, make new fish. And you can also kind of, like, break them down to get other types of fish, uh, uh, like resources and stuff. Like, there actually is a fish that you can use to get, uh, like, see, a red herring. You can actually use it, and if you throw a, a red a red herring into a crucible furnace, you get fish oil and redstone. It's only a 20% chance, but still, uh, it's not bad. What's the, the burn temperature on it? Oh, it's only 180. That's really, really low. So uh, that's pretty cool, and that's one of the ways you can get it. I haven't gotten these fishing nets to work yet. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But uh, they don't seem to want to work. Like, I haven't gotten anything from them yet. You know what? Let me... I want to do a test here. I'm going to see if the fishing nets are actually getting anything. So I'm going to throw this chest down right here. And actually, no, you know. Hold on. Let me, let me move it. Let me put the... Uh, let me put the chest right about... Let's put it right here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Um, Get rid of this. I don't want that there. Oh, I can actually mine it up now. Ha! I can actually mine it up because I have a better pickaxe. All right, so we're going to put the the chest there. And then, oh, oh, get out of the water. Get out of the water. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. oh Ridge Route. Drown under the net. Caught in my own net. All right, so let's put... Uh, um, hmm. Hang on a second. I, I'm going to make some more of the... Is that stone or is that cobblestone? I think that's stone. All right, so let's uh, let's make a couple couple of these here, and there we go. So I'm gonna put some of the obsidian pipes down here because this actually uh, power with an engine, more power, greater distance. Ah, crap. 
Okay. Um. Hmm. All right. Apparently, I have to power it with uh, with an engine. All right. Well, that we we can I can still do that because I, I have an engine over there. Uh, by the way, the reason why I have the nets there and here is because that's beach biome and this is ocean biome. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I figured I would try it anyways. All right. So I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put an obsidian pipe right there. Okay. And oh, get out of the water. And then. Let's, um, let's get rid of this bait here. Let's grab that engine. Because I've got an engine in here somewhere. And I've got, uh, this has got to be, a uh, there we go. All right, so let's, let's try this. Hang on. Wait, god damn it, give me that. All right, let, 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 let's try this. Let's see if this works. Um, if any fish come out, then maybe it'll, it'll grab them. I don't know. Um, you know what? Let me actually, uh, let me actually put it over here. Hold on. We'll put it, put it right there. Because I don't think anything is going to spawn on this beach biome. Because I've been waiting, and I haven't seen a single thing spawn. So, we'll try it over here. And we're going to put, uh, put the obsidian one. We'll put that one right there. And then we'll put, uh, that right there. And let's put that there. And then we'll put the lever on it that's supposed to it's gonna turn that on and I, I oh you know what I don't think that's gonna actually work I don't think that actually works I don't think that's the right kind of engine well maybe it is we'll see nope I don't think it's gonna work oh no it did work okay hold on let me see something then I wonder is this gonna work like if I if I just like uh, throw down that let me see. Is that going to pull it in? Probably not. Hold on. I think it has to be powered. Alright, let's let's just drop an item down. See if it gets pulled into the into the uh, thing. I think it needs the, the engine. Yeah, it does. Okay, yeah, that's not going to pull it in. Alright, well... Uh, it's gonna take forever because it's slow, but if any fish spawn, it, it should grab them. I would hope. We'll see. I don't know, man. I don't know if there's something else that I need to do to get this thing to work or something. I don't know. Uh, if you know about that, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll, I'll probably read up on it as well, but uh, that's gonna be it for this one. Thank you for watching. Certainly would appreciate it if you hit that like button. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault.